In this lecture, we're going to focus on notebooks. We're going to go over creating new notebooks, closing notebooks, and opening notebooks that have been closed. OneNote notebooks are like electronic notebooks. They're used to take notes, organize your information, and store important materials. And just like physical notebooks, you can have tabs to further separate and organize your data. You can also have any number of notebooks to store various types of data, such as for different classes, projects, or family information. But the great advantage of electronic notebooks over physical notebooks is that if you store them on OneDrive or in the cloud, you can access the information from any device. So you don't have to carry the notebook around with you. Let's start off by creating a new notebook. To create a notebook, we're going to go to the Backstage or click on File. We're going to go to New. And from New, we're going to type in our notebook name. Once we have our name, We'll verify where we're saving it, and I'm saving this to OneDrive. It's my personal location, which means it's not open for everybody. It's just my location. And I'll click Create Notebook. Once you click Create Notebook, it's going to go out and create the notebook, and it's going to sync it up between your computer and OneDrive. Now, because I've created this notebook out there on OneDrive, it's asking me if I want to share it with other people. That's something we're going to do in a later lecture, so I'm going to say not now. Now it's taking me back into OneNote, and you can see our project, which was the name of the notebook I created, is now available. And I've got the circle with the little arrows, which means it's syncing it between my computer and OneDrive. At this point, I'm ready to create notes, create sections, organize my information, and so forth. So that's how you create a notebook. Now because you can have a lot of notebooks available, your list can sometimes become cluttered with multiple notebooks. So the great thing is, once you're done with the notebook, even for a period of time, you can remove it from the list and bring it back later when you need it. So if we were done with our project, we could do a right click on it and tell it to close this notebook. Once you close it, it removes it from the list. If you need to bring it back or open it back up, all you need to do is go to the Backstage and open the notebook. So let's go ahead and click on File. We'll go to Open. It's going to go out and look for all of our notebooks from OneDrive, and then we're going to scroll down until we find the notebook we want to open. Once we have it, click on it, and it's going to open it up, and you can see it's loading it right now. Now, depending on how much information you have in there, it could take a little bit for it to open it up because it's got to sync it back and forth. And you can see I've got my little circle telling me it's syncing it. And that's how easy it is to create, open, and close notebooks. So let's just review. To create a notebook, File, New, give it a name, and you don't have to store your notebook on OneDrive. So if you wanted it just local to this computer, you could tell it this PC and pick a location for it. Create the notebook. Nope, we're not going to invite people right now. And there's the notebook. Again, when you're done, you don't need it anymore. Right click on it, close notebook. Want to bring it back, go to File, Open. It's going to search all your notebooks. Find the one you want. Click on it, and it's going to load it up. And that's how easy it is.